Welcome to this introduction of the multi-span roof beam module in StruckCalc. You can activate this module by clicking the seventh icon on the toolbar. This module gives you the ability to size a roof beam using the simplicity of the roof beam module where you plug in the roof live loads, dead loads, and tributary widths, but allows you to design a beam of up to three spans, including the option to have cantilevers at either or both ends. You can also add one concentrated or point load to any of the three spans. The inputs for this module are easy to apply as you simply put in the code required roof live loads on each of the spans. For snow regions, these loads can be obtained from the local building official. For non-snow regions, the loads are automatically adjusted in StrutCalc based on the loaded area of the beam and the pitch of the roof. However, you have the option of overriding these reductions and using the code standard of 20 pounds per square foot by clicking the override checkbox. The tributary widths are typically one half the length of the rafter or truss spans. I will give a quick example of an analysis by recalling a beam I have stored in the project manager. This beam has two spans, one of 15 feet and the other 25 feet. The rafter lengths on the first span are 16 feet, giving it a tributary width of 8 feet. On the second span, the rafter lengths are 20 feet, giving it a tributary width of 10 feet. This beam is in a snow region with a uniform snow load of 30 pounds per square foot. I will use the default value for the dead load of 15 pounds per square foot. I can use the auto size feature in StrutCalc to quickly size the beam. I will try a structural composite using eye level truss joist and try the 1.9E micro lamp series. This gives me the depth and lamination combinations that will be adequate as well as by what percentage. You can select the size you want and it will drop this information into the navigation toolbar. You can view the shear, moment, and deflection diagrams by clicking the VMD diagram button on the toolbar. You can also determine what the shear, moment, and deflections are at any location on this beam by typing in a location and hitting the calculate button. You can now print this analysis by pushing the print button or you can see the print preview by clicking this button on the toolbar. As you can see, the printout provides a complete summary of the design of this beam, including the loading diagram of the beam. That concludes our quick review of the multi-span roof beam. Thank you for watching this video.